Grubby joining me from Team Grubby, if that's right. You're currently in your own team, aren't you? Well, I'm calling myself a, a solo independent StarCraft 2 professional right now. I've dropped the, the team thing because uh, I won't be picking up any new players. It's just uh, me on my, my own organization. It sounds pretty good to me. So let's talk a little bit about you and your own organization as you also started to do tournaments this very year. Uh, how does that go for you? Yeah, we, we were doing some tournaments, but we stopped for now. I am making some other plans for something else, but I can't reveal anything yet. <laughs> then we keep that in the dark. <laughs> Are you making it more exciting for the audience? That's good. <laughs> an announcement of an announcement of an announcement. That sounds like Inception. Awesome. <laughs> That's good. Um, this is not the first CBIT you attended. Did you actually keep track of how many CBITs you've already been to? Mm, I don't know. I, I think I have to count by how many bratwurst I've eaten. <laughs> I think it's about 150, so probably about five uh, <laughs> uh, something like that. Uh, do you enjoy it this time? Do you think the atmosphere is still the same, or did it change? Well, when you talk about when you talk to people in the industry, mostly they say CBIT changed a little bit um, away from this market to that market. And to be honest, uh, you feel it a little bit, but not not too too much. If I just speak purely of the IEM, it seems like it's gotten bigger rather than smaller. Uh, more seats available for the for the stream games, and it seems like Intel slash Intel Extreme Masters pretty much owns almost this whole uh, hall, and uh, it, that wasn't always the case. So uh, you've been in in Asia for quite a bit. It was a month or something, I think. It was in in Korea, and ever since then, your game really like you really stepped up a notch, uh, at least I'd say. Um, was that due to the training in Korea, or did you just practice more in general? Yeah, at first I was uh, I was full-time StarCraft 2 when I was in Europe already, but a lot of it was still learning process, actually learning about the game, you know, how much damage, what does. And when I went to Korea in, I think it was somewhere in August, no, September or October, it was those two things, like you said. Yes, it's Korea, so obviously very good players, and I feel like I made some breakthroughs, yes. But it was also the really the first time where for like two weeks straight, I was only practicing and doing nothing else. I didn't have to cook, I didn't have to do dishes. So, uh, yeah, well, there was, there was just for a short time. And ever since then, I feel like I've been more on an equal playing field with uh, the rest of the, uh, the top or the sub top of the world. But uh, yeah, of course, it's still hard. Everyone's getting better. Sometimes I'm doing good, sometimes a bit less good. And uh, well, I think I will get there. And I, I see improvement. And uh, I still very much enjoy the game. So that's the most important part. I mean, uh, the year basically only just started. And this is, uh, CBIT is one of the first bigger events. What else are your plans for this year? Like, what are your goals for, for the end of the year? Well, I want to go, I have, a, I have several goals. I want to go to a bit more MLGs, hopefully stay in the championship brackets, like the, the pool play. Um, never have to go through the open bracket anymore, please. Um, I want to go for a while to another continent to practice. Didn't decide which yet, don't think it's going to be South Africa or Africa, although I would enjoy going there, but <laughs> Not for a while, probably Asia or America. These are some of the plans. And also, of course, I want to win uh, an international offline tournament, which has still eluded me. I have a few second places. I have some third, I have some fourth, but still no first place. So that is my goal this year. It sounds absolutely like a good goal to me. And uh, so you have a huge fan base. Maybe any last words you want to give a shout out to someone? Oh, I've had. I, I ju I've just had so much support, it, uh, it disappoints me when I don't get there to make, let's say, your dreams come true yet, my dreams come true. But, uh, well, for this particular event, I lost in the groups. Uh, I wasn't very well prepared because I only heard about it yesterday that I was going to come here. Um, I yeah, I, I stepped in. I, otherwise, ESL maybe wouldn't get another replacement player and I wanted to give it my best shot. I have been practicing on the ladder, but not particularly preparation for this tournament. No matter what, I hope to silence people who think that I can't do it. I hope to make people who think I can do it proud. I've, I've had 
so much fan support, maybe more than I deserve, maybe uh, maybe I should just be really happy about it. Uh, I just want to make everyone proud and thanks for thanks for all that and I will do it for you guys and for me. That's absolutely brilliant last words I'd say. So we wish you good luck for your goals this year and uh, thanks a lot for joining me for the interview. Thank you very much. Bye bye.